Okay, we're at the we're at the Yerkes Observatory, and since it's a Sunday, it's not open. But it's really impressive, even from the outside. That's the dome where the 40-incher is housed, the 40-inch refractor. And I don't know if we'll even be able to get where we can see inside. Like I said, I'll post pictures up. Uh, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to see anything in there. But anyway, this building is pretty cool. 1895 this building was. Look at this architecture here. Pretty fantastic just the way the building is designed. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen columns that ornate. Now this is the science geek paradise if you're a astronomer science There's a geek. Bit of architecture on it, that's for sure. Yeah. Anything we can see in there? Mm -hmm. Not really. Yeah, that's the rotunda. They show a picture of the skylight in the uh, web page. But maybe we'd come up here on a Saturday then and actually get a tour. Look at that, all that intricate detail. That's just so beautiful. Now there's another dome around back on the other side and if you don't mind just a few minutes of walking after we cool off. The south building where they do a lot of the educational work is down there and they've got a 10 inch reflector and they've got a wide sky view Schmidt um, camera telescope. Hi. When somebody sent me that fireworks one I said I said that's it. Yeah. Mr. Chemist. I said I am going to work on him with that one. Now the telescope's 40 inches in diameter and 63 feet long and the floor underneath is movable. It's on four cables mm -hmm. And it actually has fallen once. It took out uh, half of a spiral staircase, but didn't hurt anybody. So the floor is movable. The reason being that the telescope is pivoting in the center so that if you're looking at any stars low towards the horizon, you'd have to be on a huge ladder to get to it. So they just move the floor instead. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Oh, check this door out. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Now I bet you right now if you walked in this door, the floor would be up above you, depending on where they have it compared to where the scope is. And the south building is a 10 inch reflector and the Schmidt camera, which takes Oh, and here's the other dome, which is pretty much identical on the other side. This this dome has what they call the 41-incher, but it's really a 40-inch reflector. They just call it 41-incher so people don't get it confused with the refractor. And I have no idea what that little white dome is about. I guess if you're on the tour, you can... Uh, must be some some kind of deal like that. Or I wonder if maybe it's the power feed and they just made it dome shaped just to be cute. Because it's got those cabinets that open oh, up. Oh, yeah, that could be. And really off the top of my head. Now see, they don't show any way you could look in on this one. So this may be the only good view you get of it. It's, and I'm, I don't think this one they do tours of. I think you just have to live with whatever pictures it shows on the website, which I'll put them up too. But the Schmidt telescope is a combination of mirrors and lenses, so you don't get a thing called chromatic aberration, which is uh, colors separating themselves out and making that such a clear shot. So it takes four degree field of view of the sky. These uh, large telescopes here, the 40 inch here and the 40 inch over there, they only take one half of one degree of sky. So you'd have to take 
64 separate exposures of sections of the sky to get what you can take in one picture of the Schmidt, Schmidt camera scope. And there looks to be absolutely no way to look inside, so. But, get an outside view here. I'm guessing probably the way they're setting up, although I may be wrong, but I'm guessing that's probably where the Schmidt camera scope is. And this is probably where the 10 inch reflector is. The Schmidt um, camera scope doesn't have to be very big at all. It's got folding optics, so it's not. In, whereas a 10 inch reflector, I would expect it to take up most of the length of the slightly taller building. Oh, here's a nice shot back. Navy Thomas with his tripod. That is a beautiful shot. I'm gonna have to do that in high def. There we go, that's a nice high def shot of it. There's a golf course over there where they're playing golf. Let's go over here and see if I can get another long shot. It's a nice frame in the trees there. It's a nice shot there. 40 inch reflector called the 41. I don't know even with the wide angle view of this camera if I can get the whole thing in here. We might be able to do it, we just might. Not quite the whole thing, but I'll do a panning shot for you here. 40 inch refractor, world's largest refractor telescope. And the 41 reflector, 40 inch reflecting telescope. There's Navy Thomas walking across. Some of the discoveries the 40 inch refractor was famous for was it discovered carbon dioxide on Mars and it discovered one of the moons of Uranus and one of the moons of Neptune, among many other things, but those are three things it's pretty well known for. Is that a cool looking gargoyle or what?